Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video and today I will show you my new deck because I know a lot of new players especially will probably like to play summons in the beginning and I did the same when I started the game. I mainly played summon decks and they're just super fun, easy to understand and very very good for beginners. So let's start. Okay, so here is my new deck. I will explain uh, what the purpose is of each card so you understand it a little bit better. Okay, so we start with the book. The book is... I just love the book because when the enemy plays let's say a Niffler on the other side of the board or a bomb box you just send your book and he will eat that unit so that's the main purpose of the book especially when you do the combination with the bomb box he has a bomb he's transporting a bomb and immediately doing a ton of damage whooper is just a very good counter against summons against like big units like opali oh my god the sounds in the background are already annoying me uh, with newt's echo but whatever so yeah he's very good against opali locomotor whatever and spam units overall you should play this card and niffler well niffler is just overall uh, a very good uh, summon because he gives you like one mp over time and that just means that you can spam even faster because you get mp faster very good card well opali is just good against spam right because he does like with his fire he does like uh, damage on their bigger area so this means that he can potentially kill a lot of units at the same time and that's the main purpose of it uh, besides of that he's a very good tank whoop <laughs> thank you he's a very good tank against like spell decks and so on so very good if you don't have him just play centaur okay because i know obviously a lot of you will not immediately have uh, a lot of legendary cards so if you don't have him just play centaur and it's good in the beginning i played uh, it the deck with centaur for a very long period of time easy so now let's come to ashwinder well you probably need to really play him it's a card you cannot just trade out change out because his special ability is very strong and it is one of the cards that make the stack so strong so for each card i play for each spell or summon i play he spits a fire snake that fire snake can do um, like damage to a small area so he could potentially just kill pixies with his fire snake or do a lot of damage to it so a very important card and it will help you to also clear other spam units from the enemy incendio well a very good mid-range uh, spell that can help you finish an enemy or uh, i don't know kill like a bigger unit like opali or overall against spam very good cats one of the best summons in the game right now because they are so tanky and if you kill a cat they split up they split up it's just good. It's a no-brainer. Very, very strong, especially with the bombs. Super good. Bomb box. Well, it is also a card that you need to play. There is no replacement for it. Um, you need to play the bomb uh, box because that's one of the main damage sources. Because you, your units will transport the bombs and do damage with, with the bomb box. So, yeah, you need to play this card. And if you focus on leveling one card of the deck, I would suggest to focus on bomb box like if you look on the epic side of cards because having a very high bomb box well will give you a huge benefit now let's come to the companions where well, cassandra always super strong he gives you like a bit of a protection play her on the back side of the board so your enemy cannot reach it with ivy in case they play an ivy um, yeah so that's why you play her first uh, second slot i have malfoy gang i just like them and i have plus three on my echo so it makes sense to play them but I know that a lot of people will not have him yet, so just play twins. The twins are probably even stronger, but it's just like my twins are not as high as my Malfoy gang, especially with the Echo, so that's why I play Malfoy gang. And then we have Grop here. He's just a very big boy. He's very annoying to deal with, so yeah. You can also trade him out. I don't know, you can just play Hagrid if you prefer it that way, or run, whatever. But yeah, it, this is my deck and I will show you some games. Okay, sadly I only have like three games recorded because our server is currently locked out. <laughs> so we cannot get new players and we can only play with the soft launch players, which makes it a bit difficult. But um, yeah, so he's playing a very, yeah, a more defensive deck, I would say. Um, here you, we immediately need to kill Kevin. That's the main purpose. Sadly, I didn't manage to do it. Um, but yeah, I still, and he still survived. That was a bit annoying, but oh well, it is what it is. Because the problem is that Kevin gives him like a stronger attack. That's the problem. And um, we don't want that. Well, we could not change anything about it. But yeah, you will just see. I have 7 MP here. Because 
I don't always want to immediately spend all my all my um, all my MP. It depends. I always have like have in focus. Okay, how close is he to his next companion? Because his next companion could be wrong. But if I know, okay, his companion is very far away. He he will not have him in the next I don't know. Next twenty or thirty seconds. I can use all my MP, that's not a problem. But if I know, okay, he could play his next companion in the next five seconds, because you can you can obviously see that. Because if he played, and usually people play the companions at the same time, and if he plays the uh, companion at the same time as you, you can already see, okay, I will have my companion in five seconds, so, so he will have it also at the same time. So, I hope you understand what I mean. Um, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope I, uh, I explained it very well. Here he played his Hermione a bit weird, to be honest. I don't fully understand how or why he did that. Um, yeah, very, yeah, uncommon deck, I would say. But yeah, our units are just too spammy. Obviously, also my card levels were a bit higher than his. I'm not gonna deny that fact. He was always dead, almost dead, sorry. And. Uh, Especially my cat's level 17, very annoying. And this was a GG. <laughs> there it was. Okay, let's jump to the next game. So it's again against Chris uh, Chris W. Chris, yeah, W, it's how you say it in English. Because, yeah, uh, in certain, on certain times it's harder to find enemies. And he tried to build a counter deck. Very obvious that he tried to do it. Um, Neville can be very hard to deal with and you see he I almost killed his crab but then he healed uh, the crab up again so yeah she I wasted and send you because yeah crab just stayed alive so that was a huge misplay on my part I tried to kill the crab like this um, because yeah you just want the crab to die as fast as possible right oh, but yeah whomping willow the crab the healing it's yeah, and then Norwegian breach spam uh, <laughs> You don't want to see all of those combinations. I mean, I still tried to somehow kill him at the beginning, but at some point I was just like, yeah. He will spawn, there's not much to do about it. Um, but yeah, like, against Neville, I really just tried to spam, 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 spam. Um, yeah, but then he also had Orb of Water, so... It is a very uncommon deck, and I personally don't think that you play it like this. So he must have played it really just to counter my deck because we just played five minutes before that game. And he knew that not a lot of people were searching for a game. So on our server now you can indeed just prepare counter decks to counter a specific person. Um, and obviously like Neville decks are the ones that can make your life really, really, really hard um, overall. Well, especially if you play like a full spell deck, well then Neville deck will totally counter you. Um, but with spam you can still win, but it can be hard. <coughs> it can definitely be hard. Right, no deck is perfect. But um, yeah, I, I, I love Newt. It was my favorite Echo for a very long period of time. Well, now it's it's still on the, you know, one of my favorite decks for sure. But yeah, Orb of Water, you can see it's very strong if you play it correctly. Ah, Daniel's so annoying giving like heal to all the units. So that's the thing. If you see them playing Neville, uh, sorry, Daniel, he should be one of your high priorities to kill because oh, you, you, if he stays alive for too long, yeah, he can heal the enemy up, the enemy units and everything. It's just too much value. It's just too much value. Here I was like, okay, we have him kind of low. Um, so yeah, we can win this game. Even though the egg spawned again, but yeah, I'll just look at the damage. It's also the Opali. It's just a strong card. It's a very strong card. Fits very well in um, Hagrid and also Nude, as you can see. Here he exca escaped. Otherwise, I would have like won the game then. And we almost had no movement cards, but he was also probably at zero or yeah very close to having no movement cards <laughs> now let's go to the next game okay this one is wild i promise <laughs> just see it just, just watch it strutzen for me one of the best players we have right now on our server um he improved also so much in the last few seasons it's insane and 
Oh, his, his uh, Confringo combination that he plays. You will see it. You'll see it. It's it's so good. Like, he plays it so well. And just look at the damage that he, he does soon. You'll just see it. Ah, the twins, the twins. They are so annoying. They are so annoying. Just watch it. Watch the damage. <laughs> Did you see my health just go down? <laughs> In Carcerous Confringo. Oh, wow. How annoying is that? It does so much damage. And some people totally underestimate it. Or they just don't know how much damage it does. And I, I already thought at that point, okay. How will I even do a comeback here? Like... He destroyed like such a big push of me. Max Sanders dead. He killed my Opali, and um, so he he was in a big big lead. Um, yeah, I, here I was at the point I had no clue what to play because I knew that he had like his companion back in his hand, and I was like, okay, if I play my Malfoy gang, he might have a run. But yeah, I, I cannot stay at 10. Yeah, I stayed at 10 MP way too long. I need to play something. I need to play something. And <clears throat> him going back, <coughs> for me it was almost already proof he will play Ron. Like how he plays himself, the super obvious. But that's why I kept like a lot of my MP. Because I was like, okay, I can immediately play offline and everything. And um, yeah, I there I ran away a bit. So I was so scared of his Confringo. Um, yeah, his Confringo and Cosurus can be so dangerous. But we managed there. But look at the health difference. I mean, he has doubled, doubled of my health here. Um, so it looked, it looked indeed very bad. He's, he just plays it very well. And um, yeah, <laughs> not a lot to say about it. And look, motor level 17. <laughs> yeah. It's, I must admit, it's very uncommon to play locomotors in Bellatrix, at least I rarely see it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like my only option here was pass, spam, spam, spam. I was not even thinking about Contringo, I was just like, I need to spam. It's my only chance to win. Um, because yeah, otherwise, forget it, I would have lost here. Um, yeah, well, it was a good Contringo. But still, I had so much, uh, many things going on. I rebuilt a new, a new push from the backside. And uh, yeah, at some point you just need to know, okay, y you saw the Opali here? He, how fast he killed the four cats? But um, yeah, at some point you just need to know, okay, my only chance is to spam, otherwise I will lose the game. And um, yeah, if I would have like played it a little bit more carefully because of Confringo, so I would have lost, but... What a game, what a game. GG one more time to Strutzen. Crazy good player. And yeah, this was it from this video. I hope you could learn a little bit from it. Also from the spam mechanics or how to sp to play a new tech a little bit better. It's not just always like spam, spam, spam. Sometimes you need to be very cautious and like wait a little bit, save on MP in case they have like uh, some specific counters because then you can immediately rebuild your push. That's very important and the key to success with a spam deck like news. Okay, this was it. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks again uh, for hitting the 1000 subs. It's been crazy the last few days. Um, I mean, in some day uh, we made like 426 subs, which is, it's crazy i cannot say thank you enough so yeah thanks for the support i appreciate it much love to all of you and see you on the next video bye bye